among the so many things that Nigerians go through is unauthorized and illegal charges coming from the financial institution. As a matter of fact, let's talk about it a little bit on today's review. My name is Ramsey Enoch, and of course, joining me today is uh, Sadatu Mohammed. It's good to have you on today's review, Sadatu. Oh, thank you. It's good to be here. And oh. Jumat Karim. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what it means anyway. Let's talk about this. You know, when this <coughs> complaint is coming from uh, the common Nigerians, okay, you will say, all right, maybe Nigerians are complaining too much because of the pressure coming from some policies that is not so favorable to Nigeria. But this is coming from the uh, chairman of First Bank PLC, talking about Femi Ote Dollar and the owner of Zenon oil and this is suing zenith bank plc and the chairman of zenith bank talking about um Adimovia. well as it is right now illegal charges all right this is going to the federal high court in lagos yes. because as a matter of fact uh Utedola has the money mm -hmm. and he knows what to do what do you think if this is happening to the common Nigerian, the average Nigerians who take to the bank maybe 100,000, 50,000, the little money they get from their SMEs? What do you think would have happened? And what's your overview uh, concerning illegal and unauthorized charges coming from the financial bank? I don't want to call any bank right now, but then it is Zenith <laughs> Bank that has been sued for 100 billion naira that is huge sadatu yes it is so what do you think okay there's this um proverb that said na pesi we they wear shoe now you know where they pay them so now that somebody has finally come out somebody that has the money that has everything to sue them i think they have given a grant for the common man because for people like us you want to talk they they remove some charges from you unauthorized charges deduction from your account you don't want to say anything because you look at it that okay maybe it's just 50 naira 100 naira by the time you start calculating 100 naira from one individual 50 50 naira from here and there from each head it's that's like millions and billions of naira so i'm so happy that he came out somebody that has the money to pursue this law suit i'm happy that he came out at least he has given people like or some voice to come out and do something about it that that, that is true while you were speaking something came to my mind okay. and this is it you know we're talking about nigerians here all right okay. let's take for instance you know how many we are in nigeria let's just say for instance maybe um two million people okay we have been charged like 100, 100 naira. Or 50, 50 naira. Or 50, 50 naira. You look at it as That's in... a lot uh, of it's, money. It's 50 naira now. An individual will just look at it and say, well, it's 50 naira. Will I start going to the bank because of 50 naira? Consider the transport and all of that. And they'll forget about it. Exactly. Imagine... They keep going on and on and 50, on 50 naira, 100, 100 naira from... 2 million people, 3 million people, don't you know how much that bank is going to get? This no is some of the they, things. They, the Zenith Bank, they said they are one of the best bank, leading bank in Africa, but um, oh, what they are doing... Maybe that's your statistics. <laughs> I don't know why you're <laughs> they, promoting... I'm not promoting, promoting there. I'm not, I'm not actually promoting there. It's there in the news. Sometimes they go like last year or so. Okay. Said, yeah, um, but now, look but at now, what is happening. We, we, my sister had issues. There was a time she had issues. Some money were like deducted from her account. Up to date, they could not... Is Zenith Bank? Yeah they could not give account mm. of what happened to mm. our money and not just that bank there are other banks that people kept complaining that oh my money twenty thousand has got missing you go to the bank you start complaining mm. ah, uh, somebody will draw money they'll say okay your card and the person like my card is with me like they don't even give you a reasonable explanation or reason why such amount of money is disappearing from people's account so i think this is uh, uh, another step that you need to take to work on their security because sometimes we feel like these bankers have some of them are scam <laughs> yes of course well, explain why i'll put yeah, money in my account not, and then you, all of a sudden so. the money will just disappear and when i come to you to complain because i'm a poor man i don't have voice you want to shush me so now let's see how they are going to shush or ten dollar on this wow. yeah shush. let's yeah. see how they're going to shush you <laughs> i love this these are words this is the kind of things you hear from Nigerians when they are pressed to the world. Yeah, I think um, the regulatory body, Central Bank of Nigeria, needs to look into some of the activities of this commercial bank. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, oh, Tedola is coming out now because he's got what it takes. What about the average Nigerians who are also being faced with this? A lot of activities. If 
the ATM, the automated uh, 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 teller machine, mm. okay, uh, automated teller machine, if it seizes your card and you want to get it back or maybe you are being um, charged, maybe money is being taken from your account and you want to follow it up, it takes a whole lot of time. At the end, this, you get tired. You, you get tired. tired and you just, you just someone, said, someone told me, said, he had to forfeit it because the stress is even too much. Okay. It's not worth it. Well, this is the size of today's review, but the bottom line is this. Let's just watch and see what is going to happen between the owner of First Bank and the owner of Zenith, Zenith Bank. Bank. This is two elephants fighting. <laughs> Let's see what will happen to the grant. Thank you very much, Sadato, thank for coming around. And thank you, viewers, for being there. Have a wonderful uh, weekend ahead of you. Bye-bye for now. My name is Ramsey. We'll come on your way again. And that's going to be on Monday. And don't forget to Monday. follow us on all social media platforms at Oweleke. That's Daily. if you've not done that before. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the notification button too so you will be the first to get notified when vital informations are coming up. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye for now.